three reasons why you should use infinite banking. My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. If you like the content that we're sharing, make sure you like our video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So I'll get into the very first point. Now, the reason why Darius and I do infinite banking and the reason why we think it would be good for you to do infinite banking is because the banks are corporations and government officials are using whole life insurance. Mm -hmm. So all we do is look at the commonalities between those three and realize that they have a ton of money and they have a lot of control when it comes to our government and our society. So all we do is read off of the same rule book that they're playing with. We come back, take those notes and we implement it, but just on our own scale. Point number two, we're already banking. We're just not that good at it. When it comes to banking, banking is just moving money. And if you have a checking account or a savings account, what do you do? You put money in and you're taking money out. Mm -hmm. You're moving money. Then you go and spend it. <laughs> so the money that we leave inside of our checking accounts or our savings account, it's an unsecured loan to the bank. And what do they do? they go and they loan it out again for credit cards, for car notes, for mortgages, student loans, mm -hmm. whatever it is, they lend our money out at a higher interest rate than they pay us and they keep the difference. No good. Now, point number three is we can do the same thing with the whole life insurance policy. Mm -hmm. And point number two, I mentioned that you, banks borrow money from us and then they lend it out at a higher interest rate. If we're the ones that are getting the loans, why don't we borrow the money from ourselves? I think that's a great point that Darius makes is once we are aware of what's going on within the system, then <clears throat> the next step would be for us to take control. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we don't know that we have the ability to take control, but we're here to tell you today that you have the ability. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if, like we said, the banks, corporations, and our government is doing it, we actually understand what's happening with the money that we are depositing into the bank and just saying, okay, how can we take matters into our own hands? So that's what we do with infinite banking is just taking care control of the banking functions within our lives and it is a process but over time we're able to take over more and more and more of those banking functions so that we can become independent of the banks yes now I think a lot of times what people want is they want the immediate gratification yes there was no bank that ever existed that blew up overnight mm -hmm. there is no corporation that blew up overnight correct it's been years and years uh, of a, a process that required that allowed them to get to the point to where they are now. Agreed. Great point. So we hope that this information was helpful for you guys. Again, we just want to put the infinite banking concept into perspective because mm -hmm. people ask us all the time, why would I do this in the first place? Mm -hmm. And once you really understand what's going on within the banks, then you start to become aware of, okay, what can I do about it? So thank you guys so much for watching us today and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. Be sure to own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.